Top story tonight, the body of 30-year-old Alfred Adebayo found at the bottom of a Port Natchez pool apartment complex. His body was discovered this morning at Royal Natchez Apartments by his wife. Those apartments are located in the 2300 block of Nall. 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman spent the afternoon talking to neighbors. They say they heard Abadayo's wife screaming for help. He joins us live from the complex tonight. Tyler. One woman who lives nearby the pool where Adebayo's body was found was on her way to church when she heard a scream. It wasn't until she returned that she learned what had happened. Well, it was kind of scary, you know. Glenda Smith lives next to this pool at the Royal Natchez Apartments in Port Natchez. It is where 30-year-old Alfred Adebayo's body was found at the bottom of the water around 9.15 this morning. I looked over at the swim pool. She had the phone in her hand. And she was screaming, somebody help me, somebody help me. And then about that time I seen the fire trucks and stuff coming in. Neighbors say emergency personnel began CPR on Adebayo before taking him to the medical center of Southeast Texas, where he would be pronounced dead just before 1045 AM. Judge Brad Burnett says Adebayo's wife is the one who found him submerged in the pool, fully clothed. Smith says she didn't see much and chose to let first responders take care of it. She had one of them rakers, you know, uh, strainer things in her hand. And so I didn't know what had happened. I can't swim anyway, you know, so I said I'd let the EMS and all them take care of it, whatever it was. Judge Burnett has not confirmed this to be a drowning. He says an autopsy was ordered because of, quote, suspicious circumstances. I did speak with Adebayo's uncle who tells me he believes that Adebayo and his wife were swimming together this morning before she found him in the pool. He says that police haven't told the family yet on how Adebayo died. Of course, the, uh, this case does remain under an investigation. Of course, you guys can stay with 12 News for the latest developments. Live in Port Natchez, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.